All right, now to a dog reunion that was two years in the making. Little Zeus ran away from his home in Florida and wound up here in Metro Detroit. But today, at long last, Zeus was reunited with his human mom. Our Paula Tutman was there for the emotional moment. You know, some people would say cats have nine lives, but this is Zeus, and he has, I don't know, at least... <laughs> At least nine lives. Hey, Zeusie, you're a good boy. And today is a big day for this little dog. He's about to see his human mommy after nearly two years. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Debbie Petrank has been driving all night long to get to Dearborn from Florida. She wanted her baby back. Hey, Zeus, it's my baby. Hey, buddy. But this is what it was like for Debbie just moments before the reunion. I don't want you to feel bad that you're taking the dog from that guy. Well, I do. You're the owner I of know. the dog. She worried her dog wouldn't recognize her. <sighs> he doesn't know me. He knows this guy. But nothing could have been further from the truth. I've ever waited. <laughs> Up until a week ago, his name was Eddie, certifiably a wanderer. His story seems to have started in Florida, where he was found as a stray by Debbie. But he strayed from Debbie and ended up at a fast food place in Florida. And that's where a Dearborn man found him and fell in love with him a year and a half ago. Zuset. Then he wandered from the Dearborn man and ended up at the Friends of Animals for Metro Detroit Animal Shelter in Dearborn. <laughs> A lovely place where foundlings enjoy live music while waiting for their new homes. As a matter of procedure, Zeus or Eddie or the Wanderer was scanned. When we scan and find a microchip, it comes up with a unique number and it also tells what company um, the manufactured the microchip. Oh. And that's how Debbie was notified. She had been looking for Zeus for over a year and a half, almost two years. She had been placing ads in the local newspaper. Oh, dear God, I have missed you so much. And today, the dog with nine lives is finally going home. So is he ready to go home? Huh? Can we go home? Huh? Can we go home? Huh? You ready to ride? Oh, what a story. Now, listen, obviously, this is one of the residents here looking for a new home, getting a little bit of love. The folks here at the shelter, as well as Debbie, they say, listen, if you have a dog or a cat, you've got to get that microchip. In fact, they're even offering $15 vouchers that you can take to your vet so you can get it done because that really is what makes the real difference. Of course, Debbie is exhausted. She drove all night. She's staying the night. And then she and Zeus Kimberly are on their way home, not a dry snoot in the house. Kimberly? That is a doggone good story, Paula Tupman. And just to think, <laughs> that dog, I think he recognized her because he just about tackled her when he saw her. How about that? That's the incredible thing. After two years, he knew exactly who she was. His Amazing. tail just wagging, just as cute as he can be. Paula, <laughs> great story. Thank you.